Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install macOS 12 Monterey inside of VMware Workstation. Obviously, Apple does not like you installing macOS on anything besides their own hardware, so in this video, that's why we're doing this. I just want to show that it's possible to do such a thing on a Windows computer. Now, this tutorial is meant for Intel systems, so if you have an AMD system, I'm not sure if it's the same or different. However, this is only tested on my Intel system. So the first thing we have to do is close VMware, and we can't just close it because it's still open in our tray. We have to open Task Manager and end every VMware process, and I have no clue where they are. They are somewhere in here, but we have to end every VMware process. After you've completely closed VMware and there is nothing left, all you have to do is download the unlocker down in the description and run it. I did this earlier this year when I did my Big Sur tutorial, so here's footage from that. But all you have to do is basically run the install command for Windows and then let it install. And when it's finished, you can go ahead and click enter and you'll be done. The next thing you're going to need to download is this macOS 12 ISO. Now I could not find a retail version, so this is a beta version from earlier this year. I'm sure you can update this and we'll even try that in this video. So of course once you've already installed that unlocker, all you need to do is open Workstation Pro and as long as it opens and shows your home screen, you'll be completely fine. From there, click create a new virtual machine, of choose typical. And then this is where you choose your ISO. And obviously if your ISO, wherever you saved it, we're gonna choose it. And now you'll notice a new version when you go to select a guest operating system. Apple Mac OS X will show up here, and this was previously not here. This is what the unlocker did for you. We have to select Mac OS 11.1 .1, since 12 is not an option, and then click next. Of course, change the machine name to whatever. I'm just naming it Mac OS 12. And you can select the disk size. However, for the best performance, I recommend storing virtual disk as a single file. Uh, we're going to leave it at 80 gigabytes for now. And now we're going to customize hardware. And obviously, depending on what your system specs are, give it whatever you can. But I'm giving it 16 gigs and four cores. Once the VM is created, before we even start it up, we're going to right click and open the VM directory, find the VMX file, and then open it with Notepad. Now these commands will be in the description, so you have to just highlight them and copy them, and then go to the bottom of the VMX file, paste it, and then save it, and now we're good. Those lines basically said, hey, we're emulating this as a Mac and not as a virtual machine. So once you've done that, all we have to do is click power on this virtual machine, and we'll be on our way as soon as we see the Apple logo. And once your machine has booted up, this is the macOS 12 Monterey setup. So once we click next, all we need to do is open Disk Utility before we install macOS 12. And we need to find our 80 gigabyte or however big you made that drive, we need to find it. And it should just show up as VMware Virtual SATA hard drive. And from here, we need to erase and name it whatever. So I'm just going to name it Macintosh SSD but we cannot leave it as APFS. I'm sure you could if you really wanted to, but in my experience, I haven't had really good luck with APFS. So we're just gonna choose macOS Extended Journaled and then click Erase. Once your disk is erased, you're good in disk utility. We can now go to Install macOS 12 and then click Continue. Click Continue again and agree to the license terms, which you've obviously already violated because you're installing it on non-Apple hardware. Select the disk that you want to install to, so this is our Macintosh SSD, and then click continue. Once you've done that, you're going to wait the however long this is going to take to install, and then it's going to restart and then finish installing. So it'll restart and then you'll have about 20 to 30 minutes left before it's fully installed. So we'll be back once that process is finished. Alright, and here we are inside of the macOS Monterey setup. I accidentally clicked a different region, so I have to go back and down find the United States. We can go ahead and click continue, and of course go through this like we are setting up a regular new Mac. I am not sure how to get internet configured. I'm sure there's some kind of setting that I have to configure, um, but just going through standard Ethernet, it is not necessarily working. I don't know if this is just a problem with the beta or kind of what the deal is here, but the network adapter is connected. Um, I could try and use bridged. Maybe that would work, but it still says your Mac isn't connected to the internet. So we're just going to go ahead and kind of skip this right now. I'm sure there's something that we can do to get it up and running. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and try and skip the connection part. We can, of course, skip the migration because we are in a virtual machine and I don't think we need to migrate anything. 
and of course agree to the macOS license terms, which we of course already disregarded. This is where we can create an account. Since we don't have internet, we don't have the option to sign in with an Apple ID. So we need just a full name, which should then translate to our account name and then a password. Once again, we can just leave these on or you can turn them off if you want to, but because this is a virtual machine, I really don't care, but this is really all your personal opinion sort of things, how you want your VM set up, obviously exactly like a real physical Mac. Once again, another matter of opinion, light, dark, or auto, I'm going to go ahead and choose auto and continue. And once we've done that, we are now in the macOS desktop, and the first thing you'll notice is that maybe there's something that quit. Again, this is just a beta, so maybe that's expected, or it's a virtual machine thing. But now we have to install VMware Tools. But if you'll notice, install VMware Tools is grayed out. So we have to go into our DVD drive and go into Windows, Program Files, x86, find VMware, which I have no clear it is, VMware Workstation, and then select the Darwin ISO. If this is not here, then the unlocker did not install correctly um, in the virtual machine. So we need to go ahead and get out of virtual machine settings and get back in the virtual machine so that we can right click eject macOS installer and wait for that to eject and then we can put the ISO in. And now that that is off of our desktop and ejected we can now of course switch to that ISO. And once it's selected because we ejected it we have to connect the DVD and then, that is not what I wanted to click on, VMware Tools installer just popped up so we can click install VMware Tools and go through this like standard. So enter the password that we used to create the account and it should say that we are ready to go. Of course, there is a problem here. We have to enable this extension. Okay. We have to unlock the system security and then click allow and then click restart. And we are now in the desktop of macOS Monterey. I don't know why the resolution didn't adjust. I suppose we can try and change it. Although, for me, I'm not going to be using this virtual machine, so I don't necessarily, it doesn't matter to me. However, if you're planning on using this for something like Xcode, I'm sure there's tutorials on how to enable that transparency or graphics acceleration and all of those fun things like that. So with that, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.